Today we're cooking with Thunder Bay. Well, Thanksgiving is the time of year to show off your cooking skills. You know, wow a crowd with a perfectly seasoned turkey or that classic homemade pie. But who said delicious needs to be difficult? Yeah, today we've got a classic cranberry side dish that you can whip up in just a few minutes. Chef Mike Sigler is here from Thunder Bay. He's the executive chef there with an idea for you to make a great cranberry sauce. Because yeah. this is something I think people so often pass on because it's like a blob that comes out of a can. Yeah. <laughs> but this is fresh and delicious. Exactly. A lot of people have real negative connotations associated with cranberry sauce because, like you said, it's a gelatinous blob that <laughs> plops out of a can. Yeah, and it wants, does. It makes that sound. It does. It like yeah. slurps its way on out. Nobody yeah. likes that. So we're going to go the opposite direction with that and make some using some fresh uh, local Wisconsin ingredients, uh, fresh cranberries. Awesome. Right. So this is real simple. I, I've simplified this down to its core elements for the sake of simplicity. Are there only four ingredients? Four ingredients, and you could huh. get away with even less than that if you wanted to, but I'm going to just keep it at four so that we're going to be delicious and tasty here. And those four are cranberries, fresh cranberries, yep. apples, uh, they're Granny Smith. Those are Granny Smith. Sugar and orange and, juice? And orange juice, yeah. Those That's are the easy, four easy. key ingredients. Now, to put this together, it's really simple. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your cranberries, and this is about four cups of cranberries, and I do have this recipe up on the Morning Blend website. Okay. So Thank you. We've got four cups of cranberries. Are those just as is, thawed out? Those are as is you could either use fresh ones um, if you have access to them. If you don't, you could go ahead and use some frozen ones and they're going to work just fine because you're going to be cooking them either way. Okay. And to that we're going to add about, you know, a cup and a half, two cups of apples depending on what how much you like. These okay. particular ones are Granny Smith. Um, if you wanted to use a different kind of apple, like a Brayburn, or uh, you know, you, oh, I would stay away from the Red Delicious, but you know, depending on if you like it tart or if you don't like it tart, you put your apples in there. Okay. From there, we're going to add sugar. Uh, once again, cranberries are naturally very tart. Um, mm -hmm. Some people embrace the tartness. Some people are like, I'm going to cut that with some sugar. So we're going to go ahead and cut that with some sugar. So we got about a cup and a half of sugar that we're going to go ahead and put okay. right in there, along with the cranberries. And we're going to give that a stir so it all comes together real nice. And then right here, what we're going to do is we're going to add some liquid to this to kind of go ahead and make it a little bit more, um, so it cooks together a little bit more. And our liquid that we're going to use is going to be fresh orange juice. And if you mm -hmm. wanted to substitute, you know, cranberry juice, obviously, or if you wanted to substitute substitute a little bit of apple juice to kind of fall in line with the apples that you got in there. You could do that. I like the citrusy punch that you get yeah. from the orange juice. So we're going to add yeah. a little bit of that in there. And plus that's one of those ingredients that people will be like, hmm, what is that citrusy punch going on in there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a secret ingredient or you can just tell them it's the orange juice. So we stir <laughs> that all together and we let it cook. Now the nice things about cranberries is that cranberries have natural, naturally occurring pectins in them that make them sort of thicken up on their own. So you're not going to need to add any sort of a thickener to this. Oh, um, to that's nice. Thicken. So you're just going to cook these until they pop. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you some that How I got going already How long is that about, here. Mike? Uh, you just want to let them kind of come to a boil, let them simmer real briefly. And then here you can see what they look like once wow. they pop. And this is just a thickened up version of what we had going on there. And it naturally does that. It naturally does that all on its own. And once that's the cranberries easy. pop, they release that pectin into your uh, sugar and orange juice and apples, and then you are good to go. And then from there, you go ahead, kill your heat, put it in the refrigerator overnight. You wake up the next day, and voila, you've got yeah. cranberry sauce. I have sauce. got to taste this. It's I so love great. You'll have this cranberry. on your Thanksgiving buffet, but you have the ability to accommodate anybody for holiday parties. Yeah, right? holiday mm. parties um, over the next month or two, you know, or even beyond, obviously. Um, if you want to come Ooh. out with your friends after work, if you want to come out with your family, um, just Get your you right significant here. other, however you want to work it, we've got rooms for it. Tart, huh? Yeah, it's good. good. I love it. I love it. Right back here. Tart, but tasty. It's so good. So good. With stuffing and turkey. Yeah. and mm -hmm. it's, it's fantastic. It works great with leftovers. It. Another nice thing people like to do is make uh, leftover cold turkey sandwiches, put a little bit of cranberry sauce on there yes. with some mayo. Bacon, we're talking Yum. about a good sandwich. How many people eat out for um, Thanksgiving? Do you get a lot of reservations? Because I know you're going to be working and yeah. serving up Yum. a great meal at Thunder Bay this Thanksgiving. Definitely, yeah. We uh, are having our traditional Thanksgiving Day buffet, and we are pretty much booked up right now. We have about 1,000 reservations. Wow. So we, we started off kind of tentatively a couple years ago because we weren't sure what kind of a response we were going to get. And uh, people really love the opportunity to come out and not have to do the dishes for themselves, not have to cook for themselves, um, et cetera. So, yeah, a lot of people we found really do appreciate the fact that there are places out there that are willing to accommodate them. Can people, so you can't make a reservation anymore for Thanksgiving, can you pick anything up still? Um, the, the cutoff for that actually was yesterday for the pickup, just because of the fact that we got to have time to prepare yeah. enough food. But we do have some room in the restaurant for some walk-ins. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to come out with your significant other, your loved one, you know, and take a chance, you can come on in and we can probably, you know, scooch in as a two-top, three-top, four-top, get you a seat if you're willing to wait for a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it, like I were mentioning, and also, I mean, if you want to come out for a holiday party, we have the ability to accommodate people that way, whether it be Christmas, whether it be New Year's, um, you know, come on out for cocktails after work with your with your work, 
um, people and you know have cocktails, tapas. Um, we can make appetizer buffets. We can do regular full-on buffets. You're free to wel welcome to order off the menu. Have some drink specials. You know we're really festive. And after um, Friday, we're gonna have all of our Christmas decorations up, and we put up trees and lights, and the whole bar is all lit up, really colorful. And it's a it's a festive restaurant around. Perfect. This time awesome. Of year. All right. Well, Thanks, here's Mike. how you do that. You call Thunder Bay, or you can visit them online at thunderbaygrill.com. They're located right in Pewaukee on 94 and 164 exit 294. Thanks for being here, Mike. Happy Thank Thanksgiving you to you.